This is Rosie. With her multicolored mane and calm nature, she's ready for her regular visitors. They're a group of children who make the trip from Lunga to Hart Bay twice a week. The children face a variety of health challenges, from cerebral palsy and intellectual disabilities to severe autism. NGO Play on Wheels transports the children from their homes to the horses and has observed firsthand the benefits of equine therapy. Seven-year-old Piwa Kuchle has cerebral palsy which affects her ability to walk as well as maintain her posture and balance. But the horse Rosie is now helping her improve her condition and Piwa Kuchle radiates joy as she once again reunites with her special horse. Occupational therapist Trish Hart uses a therapy intervention strategy called hippotherapy to improve the child's physical and cognitive abilities. It's just amazing to see how the horses interact with the children as well and how that movement really, when you're sitting on a horse, you're doing a lot, so just walking. You think, okay, you're just walking along on the horse. It's using so many muscles. It's working your balance and your posture. You've got to be coordinated. So you're really doing a lot and it's fine and they don't realize that it's therapy. Hart says she's seen children make incredible progress with hippotherapy. I've seen children that have learned to walk because of being on the horse where the horse moves and they get that movement as if they're walking. Um, I've seen, I've had one child that when he started he was barely talking. He was just making a few sounds, a few words and he's now talking so much and just from starting to interact and talk with the horse and with us um, and because it's so motivational and we've seen children improve their balance and coordination and just be able to do a lot more to be able to move around and yeah be able to do more physically and to engage more there's yeah there's so many stories Eight-year-old Nkwenkwezi, who has cerebral palsy, rides a gentle horse. His name is Midnight. Nkwenkwezi struggles to sit up on his own, but lying on the horse activates his back muscles and improves his muscle tone. Humba Midnight! Play on Wheels caregiver Fundiswa Juta says the children eagerly anticipate their visits to the horses every week and every child has a unique relationship with the horses. They even know even the days when we are coming for the horse riding. So when we are packing the, everything for preparing for coming to horse riding, they are like, yes, 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 we are now we are going to horse riding. There is a boy that always said, Fundi, now we are going to horse riding Amash. Yeah, so which is actually a horse. They love a horse's tomb. And the horses love them too.